I'm back in the example survey and I'm just showing, um, I just wanna show you how to do the manipulation check. So some of you may not need to do a manipulation check, but I think many of you will, and it's very straightforward. So what you wanna do is um, in this example, let's say that you have a video and it's supposed to make people feel a certain way. So it's supposed to make them feel motivated. We're gonna say, um, this is a motivation video. So motivation. So what you want to do is you want to include um, information that asks them, did that work? Did you feel like the video made you feel a certain way? So <clears throat> what you want to do is at the end of your survey, you want to add a new block. So we're going to say add block. And we're going to do um, manipulation check. So for this manipulation check, it's really going to vary depending on what you did. So we're going to add a question, <clears throat> excuse me. And um, I'm going to include a multiple choice, just as an example, but you could do it as an open-ended question as well. So what you want to say is you want to do something that checks. So you watched a video earlier in this survey. What is the best response for how that video made you feel? So you could say, um, you could have a choice for motivated. You could have a choice for um, happy. You could have a choice for sad, annoyed, whatever you think. And if you did a pilot, a pilot study where you had part, um, just some friends take your survey to see what they thought, you could find out from them, like what are the different ways that it made them feel as well. And so that could be included here. Um, and then you could say um, other. So you can leave an open spot and then click here and go to your allowed text entry and let them enter. So then you can say, please enter your um, other text. So this is one option. It's very simple, very straightforward. So all you're trying to do is say, okay, you watched a video. It's supposed to make you feel a certain way. Um, how did it make you feel? So for this one, um, you might also, actually, let's add another option here. Let's say that it made you feel nothing. <clears throat> so if you had a motivational video and a neutral video, and then they say that the motivational video made them feel nothing, well, then that didn't work. It didn't motivate them. So we're trying to see, again, with this manipulation check, you're trying to determine, did it work? Did your video that you thought would be motivational, did it actually motivate them? Um, did the neutral sentence that they listened to, did it make them um, feel neutral? So you're going to make a question that checks that. So um, again, you you want to make sure that they are um, that they are that you're checking to see if that manipulation worked. So one thing that you want to do, and I just double check to make sure that this is the default setting, um, but it's good to look and check to see that they can't go back and change their answers. So the way that you should have this set up. Um, if you go to your survey options, you can see from these survey options, you can go to responses and you can make sure that this back button is off. And that means they can't go back and change their responses. So I don't know anybody that should have it on. So notice that if I did that, it turns it on and it gives them a back button and they can go back. So I'm going to leave that off. You can also decide if you want to let respondents finish later. So you could um, you could turn this off if you want to. But what you definitely want to do is, again, this back button, um, it should be off. So don't turn it on. That's the key. So when that happens, the reason why that's helpful is that they can't say, 
oh, that's what they were trying to do. Well, I want to, you know, help them out with their project and go back and change my answers. I know that sounds kind of silly and they may not actually want to do that, but it's a, it's something that's helpful. And so um, that's something you should keep in mind. So if you're not sure what manipulation check to include, um, you can always reach out to me or to your TA. You're not required to include one. Um, it just depends on your survey. So if you want, if you did a, an indirect manipulation, you're going to need to do a mani manipulation check. So it's going to depend on your survey. So um, make sure to include that if it is necessary.